The Q8's chassis balances crisp, reassuring handling with a supple ride, even if it's not as athletic as other SUV coupes like the BMW X6 or Mercedes-Benz GLE Coupe, it's still enjoyable to drive and certainly less strange looking. We all know someone a little cooler, and in the case of the three-row Audi Q7 SUV, it's the Q8, the more stylish two-row fraternal twin that shares the same underpinnings. So let's get into the more details about this amazing vehicle. And as always, we have a fun fact for you towards the end, so stay tuned. Practicality evaporates in fastback SUVs, or so goes the old troop, which the Audi Q8 works to dispel. Although it resides perfectly in this category of fashion-forward crossovers, the Q8 preserves everyday functionality. Credit that largely to its cabin, which remains spacious and versatile despite the sleek sloping roofline. Audi's Quattro all-wheel drive system provides impressively capable on slippery surfaces. The 2023 Audi Q8 receives additional standard equipment such as matrix LED headlights and headlight washers, as well as illumination animation on approach or departure, meeting the exterior lighting elements do a happy dance for you. The Q8's premium convenience package now includes adaptive cruise control with lane keep assist. The executive package for Q8 Premium Plus adds dual pane glass to help keep quiet the cabin. New interior packages add leatherette to the dashboard for premium models, as well as to the armrest and center console to the Premium Plus trim. Audi's remote park assist is now standard on prestige models. New colors are replacing last year's palette with Waitomo Blue Metallic taking the place of Galaxy Blue Metallic, Tamarind Brown Metallic bumping Barrel Brown Metallic out, and Satellite Silver Metallic substituting for Florit Silver Metallic. Pricing for the premium is $73,995, about $78,495 for the Premium Plus, and the Prestige is around $84,295. Audi provides every Q8 with a turbocharged 3-liter V6 that makes 335 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque. It pairs with an 8-speed automatic transmission and Quattro all-wheel drive. The transmission had mostly dutiful reactions, but it and the engine best cooperated in dynamic mode, which provide snappier responses. The only wish is that the engine and exhaust made gustier sound. While it swiftly changes directions and obediently hustles around corners, it's less engaging than Audi sedans, such as the sleek A7. The Q8 steering has light effort and linear feedback, which is relaxing on long trips, but it's amazing on switchback roads. The test vehicle had the optional air suspension and wore 22-inch wheels. 21 inches are standard. The government estimates the Q8 is good for 18 MPG city and 23 highways. The Q8 we took on our highway fuel economy route greatly exceeded its EPA highway rating, however, returning 28 mpg over 200 miles. If the Q8's V6 doesn't suffice, Audi offers options. One is the SQ8, which has a 4-liter twin turbocharged V8, making 500 hp and 568 pounds-feet of torque. Audi's likely conservative 0 to 60 miles per hour estimate is 4.3 seconds. Expect fuel economy of about 1521 mpg. In typical fashion, Audi has crafted a sophisticated and sturdy environment inside the Q8. The materials are premium and the panels are expertly aligned. While the base model does not miss out on upscale features such as four-zone climate control and a leather dashboard with contrast stitching, it also has standard heating front seats and a panoramic sunroof. Not only is the Q8 visually impressive, it is more than enough passenger space. The driving position remains sporty despite its elevated height, and two adults can leisurely stretch out in the back. Although the two-row Q8 has less cargo volume than the three-row Q7, people can manage to squeeze eight carry-on bags behind its back seat. That number increased to 23 with the split-folding rear bench folded nearly flat. 
Our test vehicle had the optional air suspension, which can lower the rear end to help with lifting luggage in and out. Inside, the Q8 has limited cubby storage. Its shallow center console bin and narrow door pockets left us with few spots to store small items. With a pair of vivid touchscreens integrated into the dashboard and center console, every Q8 boasts a cutting-edge infotainment system. Instead of the intuitive rotary controller found on other Audi models, the displays respond to touch inputs with haptic feedback. It was quickly assimilated to its logical menus and large icons, but distractions were unavoidable. Thankfully, repetitive voice commands and handy steering wheel controls provide alternate operation. Standard features include a Wi-Fi hotspot, an Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto. Wireless charging and two different Bang & Olufsen auto systems are optional. We're particularly fond of the standard digital gauge cluster called Virtual Cockpit with its configurable settings and superb navigation. While the base model is available with several driver assist, more advanced options such as adaptive cruise control with stop-and-go technology and night vision with pedestrian detection are reserved for higher trim. The test vehicle had the optional 360-degree camera system that helped us navigate narrow drive throughs and avoid scratching the massive rim. For more information about the Q8's crash test results, visit the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and Insurance Institute for Highway Safety website. Key safety features include standard forward collision warning and automotive emergency braking, standard blind spot monitoring and rear cross traffic alert, and available lane departure warning and lane keeping assist. And now, finally time to get into the bonus fact for our lovely viewers. But before that, we want to say thank you for staying with us this far. A fun fact about the Audi is that it was the master of Le Mans and has won the championship an incredible 13 times. Audi was so strong in this form of racing that hardly any other manufacturer could challenge the supremacy of the German manufacturer thanks to the gasoline R8 racer. As if it was not enough, Audi decided to prove their diesel prowess by winning the 2006 Le Mans in a turbocharged V10 R10 TDI. And then, Audi went one step ahead to win the Le Mans 2012 and an R18 e-tron Quattro. Insane. What are your thoughts about this amazing Audi specs and features? Comment down below. Let us know what you think. And if you enjoy the content, uplift the channel by hitting like, subscribe, also ring the YT bell to meet us again in the following video. Until next time.